Exactly. Good morning, Marcus. Yeah, traffic here in San Francisco, once again, a topic of conversation. Things kind of lulled during the pandemic, but traffic is back to where it was at those pre-pandemic numbers. And one county agency is working on a study that they think would help alleviate it. And as you mentioned, it could cost a little bit of money. So the San Francisco County Transportation Authority is leading a study focused on northeastern San Francisco. Now, drivers would pay a fee to cross into the boundary area during rush hour. The study is also looking at making the congestion pricing fair and equitable by exploring pricing based on income. Now, right now, the group is looking at a $6.50 fee for high income drivers, but public input, they say, will help shape that cost. A study timeline projected September to December for recommendations, next steps in those final reports. And to put it in a perspective, just how much of an increase in traffic we're seeing, Caltrans has the average number of miles driven in the Bay Area is up almost 30% compared to just a few months into the pandemic. And six of the nine counties traffic is at or above those pre-COVID levels. So according to um, the study document, several uh, several countries rather have been exploring the concept of this congestion pricing. Cities like Seattle and Vancouver have been exploring it, but some countries have already implemented the congestion pricing uh, like Singapore and Milan. So this, of course, is a story we will continue to keep close tabs on. Again, this is not official, but those conducting the study at the county level say September to December, they're looking to to make a little more progress and have those final reports on this concept. We're live in San Francisco. Sierra Johnson for today in the Bay. All right.